Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to play Dragonflies, which is from the new grade one um, syllabus um, book. Um, please buy the book. Um, you need to uh, support uh, ABRSM's copyright stuff. I've bought the book. I own this book. All right, let's get right, right into it. I'm going to jump right into it and show you note by note how to play this song. Um, if you need to pause or rewind the video, if you miss something, I'm going to show you finger by finger. Um, if you get lost, so you can you can find what you're doing. All right, so um, I've boxed it off in little sections so you can see that there's some repetition. So let me just uh, let me just play it for you first. So I'm gonna play the first eight bars. <laughs> First of all, um, left hand, a uh, right hand has this chord. You go, um, you have an F A C with a finger five and D at the top, and you go five D C one. Left hand comes in here. We go D C. D flat. We're gonna have five finger positions. Um, okay, so I'm gonna mention how this is structured. So you see how it's kind of a repeating pattern. We've got the first. Um, Let's play it again. So you have this first pattern. So actually I made that mistake myself. Um, the left hand here has a different finger pattern for the first time and the second time. Okay, so that might be a little bit confusing to you. Why don't we just use the same fingers both times round? Um, it's because it's going to make sense. Um, here we start with finger one, and then we start with finger two. Okay, let me just show you how that works. Um, for the first time round, it's because you have your five fingers in this position. With your finger four, it's a bit uncomfortable there. You can see my hand is a bit scrunched up. see it in the purple yeah <laughs> the second time however the fingers have to go a little bit differently you have to start with finger two go two three finger one goes underneath finger two is on b flat this time instead of finger four because we're going to go to Know that one time, the first time around, you start with your thumb on D, and the second time you start with your second finger on D. Okay, the right hand goes like this: Second time. Let's just skip the first bar, so it just goes. Second time, we're starting second finger over here. Uh, I mean, um, thumb, we end up on there. Just because I'm cutting out the previous notes from the, don't bar, from the previous bar. Don't worry about it. So, E. Let's add this phrase again. So, remember, this phrase starts out with. Smart cookies in the audience tell us what chord this is. I'm not even going to try because this, this video is for grade one students, so I'm not going to do any analysis here. But it's a nice chord. Let's just stick to that. It's a nice chord. Okay, so with the B, B, F, A, B flat, B, E, G, A, F, A, C. Let's do that again. So nice chord. Second time round. Now remember, we have to start on finger two.
chords in the right hand are D, F, G, D, and then one, two, four, because we need to have that pinky finger for the D over here as well. Okay, so that covers the beginning part, the first um, eight bars. Now we're going to move on to the next eight bars. And it goes like this. the right notes. Let's turn up the music so you can kind of follow along. Okay, cool. So uh, let's start on this part. So first of all, um, you can think of it like little clusters of notes. Ascending. B, C, D, D, G. On the second one, the bottom and the top notes go further away from each other. So we go from we go we go to A, C, D, D. Does that make sense? So at the bottom here we have B and at the top we have G. The B goes down one step to A. The G goes up one step to A. As well. Yeah, A as well, yeah. And then they do the same thing one more time. Just keep the notes pressed down so you can see what happens. Oh, sorry, um, B and G, A and A, A and A, and G and D. Does that make sense? Should we write down the notes for those who need it in the in the music? Let's do that. I want this um, tutorial to be comprehensive for everyone of every ability level to be able to follow along. Yeah, okay. And the middle notes, I'll just write the middle notes in, in green just because they don't, they don't change. C, D, E, C, D, E, C, D, E, C, D, E. Okay. That's, a, that's fairly... Yeah, I think that makes sense. You following along? I hope you are. If you're lost with anything, please um, write a comment or um, or send me a message. Okay, good. So so um, and then we have this thing at the end of that fourth bar, three bars, and then that next one. So um, what's this? We s we finished with um, finger five on B. We're gonna have this little scalic pattern here. Just go four, three, two, one, three, two. And at the same time, we have this chord F and C in the left hand. Okay, so um, the second time around, it changes a little bit. Let's just recap that first one in case anybody's missed anything. Similar pattern. Should we write down those notes as well? In case anybody's missed it. Um, again, same thing. B, G, B, G, uh, B, A. Um, B, A. But the last time round, something else happens here. And we're going to have G. B, and this is going to be F, G, A, B, and this is E, C. 
Okay. Right. You should be able to follow that along. So let's just play it one more time. Excuse me. This is an A. Apologies for that. Okay, cool. Um, right, let's go on. Let's finish this off. So, what do we have at the end here? Again. <laughs> exactly the same as it was the first time and again we have this whole thing of you have to put your your fingers in the appropriate moment um so you remember you're starting with cluster the second time around then we go actually yeah so um this is Okay, so, so this is a little bit of a, a um, this ending part, just the last four bars, it goes a little bit different because you could potentially go, you could go again, two, three, one, two, and reach to C, but obviously I've got a few chans so I can reach that, that interval from B flat to C in between, but that's not going to be working with most of you, um, so you're probably going to have to go Maybe go two, three, one, two, take your hand off to see. Okay. Let's just do that last eight bar phrase one more time so you see what happens here. Um. mistakes um, across this piece. I hope you found that that tutorial useful and I hope you learned something and um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.